Uh, well, I feel happy. Um, it's uh, a special moment. I think uh, I had a very tough draw. Uh, I had to push myself. I played a lot of tough uh, moments. I think I support uh, moments that I was especially down on the match that I was not playing well and I was mentally strong. So I think that's why I'm having the chance to play tomorrow against Simona in the final. Hi, Beatrice. Uh, ben from Match Point Canada. Uh, you're the first Brazilian to reach a final uh, in Canada in 25 years. Gustavo Kirten did it in 1997. I guess my question is, what does it mean to you to make uh, Brazilian tennis history here? Uh, well, for me, it's very special. Uh, we have uh, Maria Estarbueno, Guga. I don't compare myself with them. For me, they are phenomenal. And, uh, it's very important and it's a pleasure for me to be not even only Brazilian, but uh, women from South America. We have a lot of men, Argentinian and another like Brazilians people playing uh, big tournaments also, but it's very special to represent the women's power in this stage of uh, tournament. And yeah, I'm very proud of myself and my team. Hi, Beatrice. Uh, great match. It's uh, Rune Shunavas from Yahoo Sports Canada. Uh, you did a great job of mixing up your velocities on your service game. And I know you probably can't tell us too much about your preparation for tomorrow, but I'm wondering whether that's going to be a consideration uh, playing against Simona tomorrow. Uh, yeah, Simona, it's a very competitive player. She, For me, she's one of the most competitive players in the tour. Uh, we played each other now in... Uh, in Birmingham, and I won this match, but I lost in Australian Open. Uh, I lost in 2017 also, and she's like a champion. She's a person who worked very hard, and I know it will be a very tough battle. But yeah, I'm I'm gonna enjoy. I'm gonna leave everything on the court. I will try to play aggressive. Uh, I learned a lot today because in the moments that I wasn't too aggressive, uh, she was playing better than me, and. The match was 5-1 to me, and I want to improve that for tomorrow. So, yeah, I'm going to try to enjoy and play point by point. John Chitley Hill from the Canadian Press. Uh, based off of your play this week, you're going to crack the top 20 in the world rankings next week. What does that mean to you, especially given how far you've come in the past 12 months? Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, a special moment again. I think uh, I'm having a lot of nice uh, things coming through uh, in the last few weeks in my career. Uh, again, I think the results come because of the hard, hard work. Uh, the only thing I changed in the last 12 years was uh, 12 months it was to focus more in the process and not about the results. But for sure, we set goals, and my next goal was to be in the top 20. So. Uh, I'm very happy because we never know in tennis when it's going to happen, but I always try to be positive and push myself 110%, and I'm happy that I could make it during this week in Canada. Hi, congratulations. Um, you, you are coming off to uh, grass court titles, um, lower tier. So what were your honest expectations coming to this tournament? And then especially when you saw that you had drawn uh, Iga for her first match. Or so what were you really expecting of yourself? Yeah, yeah, my expectation in Toronto, I think, was the same expectation in the tournaments on grass. I think my uh, the moments that I played my best tennis was when I didn't have a lot of expectation. Um, and I think sometimes we think about when we create things that doesn't exist in our mind. So my expectation was just to come here and to work hard because last week I didn't work well. My opponent, she played better than me, but I had a lot of opportunities. And this week I decided to make it different. And I think that's why I could like improve my game. I could uh, play point by point. I think the toughest moment was to play the third set in the first round. In the first round, nobody wants to go home. And yeah, I was fighting and I was giving me chances. I was trying to yeah, be aggressive. And each round I was getting confident. I was believing more and more on me. And yeah, that's why I think I, I'm here in the final. 
Hola Beatriz, Fernando de HSM. Sí. ¿Qué le puedes decir al... Okay. No, es español. Spanish. Ah, ya, yeah? ok. Yo después te contesto. Yeah, sí. Polish newspaper in Canada. What is the difference with playing and winning with Isa Świątek and Pliskova? The difference between Iga and Pliskova? Playing and winning with Iga Świątek and Pliskova. Both are very tough players because they are very aggressive. So sometimes even when you play your best tennis, you can lose the point. So sometimes the match is not under 100% on your control. When they are serving well and hitting hard, it's tough to <laughs> to make the first shots and be aggressive on their shot. But yeah, I think Pliskova has a very good serve. When she, she goes for it, it's very tough to return and eager. She mentally, she's for me, she's in another level. That's why she had a lot of results. She's very um, competitive. She played every single point. And yeah, I think the difference is that that one. Polish people wish you winning tomorrow in the final. Polish people wish you win, winning tomorrow in the final. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, congratulations. I just wondered, do you feel like you're on this incredible roll? Because I think looking from the outside, it's upset, 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 upset. How, did, how does that feel to you? <laughs> no, I'm happy. I'm very happy. Um, yeah, it's, it's just because when I'm during the tournament, I try to go like step by step because I know that I, I need to enjoy it today because I won a match. But in two hours, I'm going to think about the match, like tomorrow's match. And in tennis, it's, it's crazy that even when you have nice moments, you need to prepare yourself for the next day, like being like zero and zero. We never like have moments like very happy and very sad. So I try to balance my mind. But you know, for sure, inside me, I'm very happy with the moment. <laughs> Congrats, Beatrice, on the win. You, you talk a lot about your team. I, I noticed during the second set tiebreaker, every time you won, you, you would fist pump to your team. I, I'm just curious, how important is your team, not only just in the match, but also away from the court as well? Yeah. Uh, well, first of all, I'm a very like I'm a very emotional person. I like to get get the energy. I look a lot to them, sometimes too much, but. Uh, yeah, they are very important. Normally, I don't need to look every single point because we we talk before the match. So I just try to get the energy. We know what we work for. We know what is going on. But they are very important to, well, first of all, to build my mind, to prepare my, my body, to prepare my, my game, the strategy that we want to make it. And during the match, we just try to be positive, to get the energy, even when we are not playing very well. Today wasn't my best tennis, but they were there with me. And they make, made me feel stronger and believe that it doesn't matter if you don't play well, you can find a way to, to get this one. And that's why I think I'm getting stronger every match. <laughs> You mentioned that you're an emotional player, and earlier today, Simona was telling us that she's an emotional person at player and that she's found her fire again. I'm curious, how do you harness those emotions in the middle of a match? How do you control them and make them work to your advantage? <laughs> well, uh, you guys can see sometimes I, I scream a lot. I, uh, I don't know how to say this with my hand. And yeah, I just try to, uh, brief a little bit more. Uh, I try to calm down and think about the what I need to do and not what I'm leaving. I try to play like every point and think about the next shot and don't think about, oh, I'm here playing against the number one in the world in a big stadium in a thousand WTA because otherwise I wouldn't like be able to, to play. So yeah, I just try to do things not only inside of the court, but also outside as like trying to play guitar or reading more or listening to music or just trying to be with myself alone to yeah improve that because I want to improve this part of me. <laughs> 
Hi, Beatrice. Um, I got a couple messages from fans watching, loving one of your celebrations, and I don't even know if you knew you were doing it, but you were sticking your tongue out and kind of smiling and having some fun. That's the one. And I'm wondering um, if you have a name for it, if it's something maybe we're going to see again, or, uh, yeah. I didn't know that I did that. <laughs> I didn't, like, it was emotional moment. Uh, sometimes we just react and yeah yesterday when i saw the the match point also i served the waist because yeah it was like wide or t and when i decided i, I like i went for it and then it was ace and i was laughing with myself but it was a, like a, a celebration and today i think i was like doing something like that and for sure i didn't think about it and i don't know i will watch the film to see what i did, I did. Kind of Michael Jordan esque, and I think people were really enjoying it and oh, liking seeing it. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks.